kind of windy out here on the porch, but I had to go out and find a piece of wood to chop on. But I just wanted to show you that even though they're big and heavy, you know, they can get big and heavy like a chopper. They're originally fighting knives. And, uh, you know, everybody's got to overdo everything. But the original shape, they're, they're not even exactly sure of and everything. Where it got its name from is basically the, the legend, you know, the story of the sandbar fight where, you know, we won't go into that right now, but basically, uh, Bowie finished off a guy with a knife, and that is where it gained its popularity. This one right here, it's called the uh, the Country. It says like Breakup Country on it. They make several different brands. I mean, you know, versions of it and everything, but it's kind of in between these. It's long enough, and it has a thin blade and everything, but it's not too thin. I hit that guy over there. Got to aim better. <laughs> Lob it off. Anything like with this, you know. Yeah, they can chop, you know. Again, this is a glass table. You know, I don't want really, really be chopping on it that much. But, uh... You know, you can do your basic tasks with it. When you start getting into to this range, they're fun. But as far as practicality goes, I'd rather be carrying an, uh, an axe with me. Let's, let's put this down. On, let's move this out of the way and hit it on the concrete. <laughs> We're gonna, you're going to double your blade. Can you see that? Let's see. Yeah, you can see that. <laughs> Lob. Let's try that with this guy. Wow. Let's set that blade down. I don't want to lose a foot. I am wearing sandals. In the interest of safety, I am wearing my sandals. Just so y'all won't freak out as much. Yeah, see, it goes in. Cut the wood pretty good, but it didn't. It didn't break it in half. Let's try the. Try this guy. The says co. Why? Because I says co. I'm gonna hit him right about, right about there. Ooh, lobbage. So yeah, if you want to do just a bunch of chopping and hacking and stuff, your your heavier blade, of course, is gonna dig in and take that. Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> watch it, feet! Watch it! <clears throat> yeah, you can do stuff like that. This one gives you a little bit more control. You can make faster hacks. Oh, did you see that spark? Did you see that? I saw sparks? Must be wood in here. Watch me chip the blade. You're gonna chip your blade. Let me look at that closer. Huh. Maybe it's ironwood. <laughs> inside joke there. Maybe. Maybe it was an inside joke. Alright, let's try this guy. He's got the little finger toil thing. Still takes, you know, respectable chunks out of it and everything, but it's just not, it's not behaving, it's behaving more like a knife than, you know, a hatchet or a cleaver. I mean, look at the blade thickness on this sucker. It's huge. And the weight, too, man. That's something that just doesn't translate as well as... This thick sucker's blade heavy. It's cool, you know, don't get me wrong. If you want to go out and carve a steak, you know, 
freak everybody out, I'd whip this one out. This one will probably still get us some attention. Well, there you go. This will still do, you know, your, your shaving. It doesn't shave as well as, uh, I mean, you, you can make it do curls and stuff like that. I just am more used to a Scandi. It's just not what you're used to. <clears throat> Alright, so that's about it for the chopping demonstration. I will try to feather stick with these guys here. Yeah. It's just more wants to take the whole piece of wood off. You can do it. But just really wants to dig in. Dig in. Try this guy. Oh yeah, this one's pretty nice. It's also more of kind of like what people would think of, you know, Wild West buoy and everything that kind of shape the stereotypical booty all right let's look at the chunks on this guy while we still got some sunlight yeah did a pretty good job this is a combination of them you know whacking whacking and hacking there you go hello and welcome to my channel well, I've got the bedroom window open, so if you hear something coming from the outside. All right, so what we're looking at today is the Mossy Oak 14-inch buoy. Now, the sheath is pretty nice in the fact that you have double straps here, and you have two options of carrying it. You know, like, you can carry it like a dangler, or you can loop through here and carry like a, uh, up closer to your hip and everything. When you're doing that, with it, with the capability like this, you can leave that one top unstrapped and give you more room to flop around, dangle, basically. The construction of the sheath is not bad. The stitching is not waxed. A lot of times you'll see wax stitching on here, but it's, man, it's okay. They say it's leather. It really has that sheen like polish to it, like synthetic, but if you look in the inside, it, it looks like leather. I'll take their word for it. It's leather. <clears throat> we'll see what the box has to say. Let me sit down there for right now. See, it says it has a leather sheath. Five-year warranty for the sheath. Lifetime warranty for the knife. And then, uh, we're in wide angle, so this will be kind of hard to see. Oh, I can the zoom in it, just bring it closer. <laughs> Full tang design. <coughs> Excuse me. It's springtime all kinds of stuff blowing in the air um eight and five inch inch two-toned blade stainless steel construction really nice breakup country what's the center here officially licensed product i don't know what breakup country is mossy oak And then it basically gives you the same stuff back here. And made in Hangzhou, China. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, the interesting thing about this knife is it Rockwell hardened 
test at 60 with the files. 60 to 65 is the hardness on this steel. It's harder than, uh, and it's only $19. I mean, you know, like $20, this knife. So, if you're looking for one that'll hold an edge a little bit longer, and is inexpensive, this one seems to, you know, as far as like Rockwell hardness, it should hold an edge longer. Now, I've just done some chopping and stuff like that with it. I haven't done anything super wild, you know, I haven't done anything really to test the edge that much. <laughs> I'm looking for something to cut. He's always looking for something to cut. <laughs> I'm going to cut something. <clears throat> Get out of the way, you. I've got to cut something. I've got some cardboard here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll cut. It'll cut. <clears throat> it'll probably cut paper pretty well, too, but I could... I've got some around here. Where, where, oh, where has the paper gone? Here's something that was in the trash. This is paper. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh, who'd I kill? Coke bottle. I got a Coke bottle and somebody else got shanked up there. They fell down. May have just been the Coke bottle. Look okay, now we're getting dangerous around here. You don't want to drop these things on your feet. I'm telling you. It gets dangerous around here. Alright. Um, so. What do I like about this knife? I like the size and the weight. The handle is uh, simulated. I think it's like their version of Delrin. But simulated stag is done pretty well. I like the tapers on it and the swell. This is something that's different on a lot of knives, so you really got a lot of control. The forward finger uh, choil. One thing that you can't see is the balance of this knife, man. It's just like almost perfectly balanced. I think, think, think the balance right here in the hill. Get, get over there. It's just a little blade heavy. To where the, see, it's that. that Pivot point right, <laughs> and we have achieved this, the balance. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of control, man. You can just flip it around in your hand. Um, you know, Bowie knives were originally designed as fighting knives, so it would probably excel well at that because if you get too heavy of a blade and you've missed, yeah, that's good for lobbing off extremities and stuff. But if you've missed, you want to be able to recover. And come back and with a heavier blade just the momentum you know the tracking it works well for um same way you know for like going forward a heavier blade is going to have an advantage for going forward because the weight the mass behind it's going to penetrate and reach this thing's got some reach on it now if you're not fending off zombies and you're just doing regular camp chores and all those other stuff the mundane normal stuff that most people do this would be pretty good. You could choke up. I had I had that featherwood out there and all that other stuff I was doing. I don't want to carve on my fish knife. Let me go get something. I think a lot of the uh, type of blade depends on the environment you're in. You know, I mean, this is basically the same size as this machete is more practical, you know, for whacking weeds and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty much designed for it. It bites in. Um, it does a pretty good all-around chore. This can be pressed into doing like a machete's job. If you have to, it's got enough reach, you know, to hack a vine or limb out of your way. Um, it doesn't recommend batoning. You know, that's something else about batoning. I understand it, you know where they got the idea from and everything but to me it's more like a trick you know like, i mean it can be done i understand yeah yeah some people love to do it and everything else and blah 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 but that's what a hatchet's for if you're only going to carry one blade and try to make it do everything then it's going to kind of fall in between the master of all trades uh jack of all trades but master of none you know i mean it 
it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be average for just about everything it might be one little sweet spot where it's good at you know like eh, it's so huge it's good at chopping okay we'll give you the chopping you know advantage but are you gonna be able to beat a hatchet or an axe probably not you know that's why they put all the weight behind one part of the blade maybe three or four inches a lot of weight back here so wham momentum you know is a hatchet going to be good at like mm -mm type of fighting no you know but the tomahawk you know they did a pretty good job with the tomahawk so yeah it all depends on what you're using everything for i like this one because of the weight uh you know it's not too heavy it's not too light and uh it seems to be a pretty good steel i like the way you know the, the mobility of it and uh it looks all right you know it looks pretty decent and for 20 bucks man you can't really go wrong i mean come on i'm just saying i'm not a salesman you know for these things I'm like if you got 20 bucks around 20 bucks to spend i think the outlaw is like 38 the charade's like 20 or 26 um the sezco's you know around 20 or something like that i don't remember how much it is sometimes these could be found these have been out for a while sometimes they would get these on sale for nine dollars so really that's something to just keep an eye out on you know if you ever wanted just a pretty good like i said this tapering is different a lot of times they just leave it fat back there sometimes it's it's good you know but other times it's just wasted you know this way it gives you a palm swell where you need it and your palm but everywhere else it thins out so it doesn't get in the way I think that's a good design. Pretty thick spine, sharp on this side right here. It would be good for sparking ferro. Um, I think it's yeah, it's stainless steel, so you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to just like take a flint and spark it. Ferro rod maybe, but not flint. Stainless steel won't do that. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good knife. That's my initial impressions of it. Pretty decent little knife. So there you go. That's that's what we got. Let's look at the actual as as far as compared to advertised, actual versus advertised. Yeah, you're getting I'm trying to hold the tip up here. We're getting about seven and three quarters cutting edge and a blade itself all the way to the guard is eight what is that about eight and a half inches that's eight and a half inches so she said all right so Let's put this here, put that up, and I'll let you go on about your business. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.